Today, Columbus police held a news conference pleading with Pammy May to come forward. Pammy May is accused of kidnapping five-year-old Darnell Taylor, setting off a statewide Amber Alert. Police were called to May's residence on Reeb Avenue early Wednesday morning after her husband dialed 911 to report that May claimed to him that she killed the boy. He then tells the operator that May ran out of the house and took his gray Jeep Cherokee, the car that was found hours later outside of Cleveland. Now, during the news conference today, police showed dash cam video officers on their way to the scene at 3.07 a.m. and police believe that gray Jeep is seen driving in the opposite direction. Police are pleading with the public to share any information they might have. If we get a tip, we're going to follow it. Please, we are imploring to the public, if you've seen anything, no matter how insignificant you may think it is, reach out to us and call the tip line. Police say right now they are trying to determine a timeline of events. You can find CPD's tip line at NBC4i.com. And NBC4's Kyle Beachy is joining us now. That's right, Kyle. You spoke with an Amber Alert Advisory Committee member as well as a former FBI special agent about the important time plays in a search such as this one. And he said every single minute counts in this search. And he kept repeating one message, and that's that they need the public's help in all of this. It's been almost 44 hours since Darnell went missing, and as time passes, the percent chance the boy is found alive gets lower and lower. There's an immediate need to find the child, to deter make that determination whether they need medical care uh, or what the situation is. Former FBI Special Agent Harry Trombitis has investigated kidnappings, murders, and more. He still serves on the state's Amber Alert Advisory Committee. He knows how important time is. In a stranger abduction, you know, we always say the, the first 48 to 72 hours are the most critical. But this current Amber Alert case is not a stranger. It's a five-year-old boy's legal guardian. You hope as an investigator that love that parent has had for that child continues and, and, you know, they're taking care of that child. Trombitis likens an investigation to a puzzle, piecing it together one clue at a time. But it's been almost two days since the Amber Alert was issued. They found the vehicle within a couple hours. So what are police looking for now? As an investigator, I want to know who was the last person outside the family to see that child alive. And Trombitis says location is important too. The vehicle was found in Brooklyn, a suburb of Cleveland, more than two hours away. There's a reason why people go, suspects go to a particular area. It's a familiarity, they've got support there, family, friends. Uh, there's a reason why Pammy drove to that particular area. And Trombitis also told me as an investigator, you have to assume the child is alive. So the urgency to find Pammy and Darnell is still the priority. Carrie.